and welcome to scrapbookingstation.com. In this video we're going to create uh, a sparkling Christmas tree card. And this is using the encrusted jewels. I've got two different kits here and we're going to go from beginning to end on this red tree. But then I've got photographs for everything and actually going to go through the stamp set and everything else I used. So let me get you over my shoulder and we're going to start with the cardstock. Okay, let's talk about the cardstock to begin with and this is going to cut it five and a half by eight and you score it four and a quarter on your base card and I'm using Running Hood Red I almost went with Cherry Cobbler but the idea is that your front cover is a little bit shorter so it'll reveal this side panel. Now your contrasting piece and this is natural white that I'm using is five and a half by four and a quarter and before I did anything else, I trimmed, ticket trimmed, ticket punched, the corners. Now, the frame that I'm using is the Spellbinders Nestabilities Frames System, and these are resplendent rectangles. And I got these off of Paper Wishes, but I just checked and Amazon.com's actually got them cheaper. Anyway, they're very detailed, and if I can just show you, I went ahead and cut this out. Now when you cut it out of your panel, you want to be over to your left side because this is going to be sticking out and we're going to embellish that quite a bit. But you can see these die cuts are really intricate and there is a price to pay and I just want to show you real quickly. Yes, the, the end product is beautiful and I've already cut another one out and actually this fell off. But I like to run it through my Big Shot three, four, five times. And even then I lift it up and make sure I've got a really nice score line. But even at this point, you have got to move around. And like I said, I mean, it, they're beautiful, but I mean, you cannot, I would not mass produce these, that's for sure. and you've got to be really careful and even then some of the edges are going to pick up. And actually I've got a pretty clean one but you can see where all these little pieces are in here so offline I'm going to go through now they do have holes and this is a really sharp point you can use like a sewing needle or something else but you're going to have to pop all these out before you run this die again and then same thing on your outside if there's any pieces still in there you want to pop those out but like I said I ran back and forth through the big shot with the plate um, at least six times three each way and actually on the smaller ones you could really flip it and go a couple times the better you better you can cut this a lot easier it's going to be later anyway so that's the basics yeah, not much to the not much to the card. And now the thing we're going to play with next is something called encrusted jewels. And then these are from Fon Frantage. I don't know how to pronounce that Frontage. But anyway, it comes with glitters and enamels and embossing powders. And so actually this is the green kit and the one I'm going to use uh, for this card is in the red. So what you need to prep is you're going to need um, a Versamark and your stays on. Two different steps. I'm going to start with just the embossing embossing powder. Well, embossing powder and embossing enamel. So this is aged scarlet and red tinsel. And of course, you're going to want your stamps. And I'm using Stampin' Up's special season stamp set in the uh, acrylic or the clip with the clear blocks. So I'm going to make my workspace ready for this part and actually get a lot of pieces of scrap paper because I like tossing everything I don't use back into the appropriate uh, tube. So I'm going to be moving around quite a bit in this next step. So let me set up and uh, I plan on embossing this edge actually with everything that's in this kit and then just the Christmas tree with the embossing powders and then stamping up with my stays on. But I'll show you step by step. I'll be back in a second. 
Okay, we're ready to go with my Christmas tree focal point. So I got that cut out and everything's trimmed up just the way it should be. Now I get my Versamark ready. And I just hope I remember to use two separate scrap pieces of paper. So anyway, my Versamark hopefully is very juicy. It's not so important in this step that you get all the little details of the tree, but you really want to make sure that when you throw that embossing powder and the embossing enamel that it really sticks. Now I'm using these loops to center my tree and it's really hard to do from the side but we'll make a go of it. I'll make sure that's really on there. I'm going to sprinkle some of this embossing powder and be pretty thick about it. Shuffle it around a little bit. Okay, I'm going to try and get a lot of that back into that jar. So I'm going to put that aside. Bring myself another piece of scrap and I'm okay with all this going on the side and I'll show you why in a little bit and so now I'm going to put some of this other stuff and this is the aged scarlet and I'm going to tap that in there because I don't want all that falling off actually that's pretty loose so I'm going to try and Bring that into the tree a little bit. And now I've got my heat gun. And I hope you'll be able to see this. And I let it heat up for a little bit. And I'm going to come from underneath at first. I'm trying to, whoa, I was afraid of that. I'm trying to get some of this to melt. And it's going to curl a little bit, but that's okay. And I can see it melting here, I don't know. Let me close up my tube real quick. And it is really shiny. Now I'm going to clean off my Christmas tree. Just a little bit. Not terribly much. And then I'm going to open up my, close up my Versamark and open up my stays on. I just re-inked this so it should be pretty juicy and I'm just going to reheat this real quick try and get a little melted that's melting pretty good and let me now this is stays on black yep nice and juicy and I'm going to heat this up a little bit a little bit more because you actually want it a little bit mushy for this effect and if you wanted to you could have thrown a little bit more on I'm going to try and line it up, but it doesn't have to be exact. And 
that just gives you a little bit edging on your Christmas tree. I'm going to put that stamp aside. And now we're pretty much going to do the same thing on the inside of our card. <coughs> Excuse me, except no stamping. And I've got a couple more elements to throw in there. Actually, I'm going to clean this up and I'm going to bring in the base card and then we're going to see how that's going to look. Okay, now I'm just going to want to do the same thing on the edge, but I'm also going to throw in a couple more elements. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my Versamark and turn it upside down and get this edge covered a little bit. So that's all that really good. Now again, I'm trying to keep all my colors separate. So I'm going to start with the red. This is the red tinsel embossing powder. So. I'm just going to help it along. The great thing about this is you never really know how it's going to turn out until it turns out. And once again, I'm going to try and get as much of that back into the jar as I can. Now, I'm a little bit wiser with my next embossing enamel, so put maybe more of that here. I'm actually going to smash that around a little bit. My finger. You know what? I'll leave those. Now, I've got a couple other things. This is red glass glitter. Oh, see, and I forgot to lift up, but that's okay. And that won't stick, except onto the embossing enamel, so I'm not all that worried. And now here are some scarlet fragments. I got burgundy fragments as well, but I'm really not going to use those. So I'm going to pop some along there like that. And now... This is going to take me a little bit longer to heat because I chose to, for the sake of filming, um, already put it on this so I could hold it up while it was heating up. And now, otherwise my fingers were going to burn. And then as I see the glitter start to melt and the embossing enamel start to melt. Like I said, this is going to take a little bit longer. Now I come from on top. Now some of it's going to blow off and that's okay. We'll catch all that in a little bit. And this really makes a super sparkly, tinsel, interesting effect wherever I've got embossing powder. Like I said, every look's going to be a little bit different, but this stuff is just so much fun. So now I'm just going to knock off everything that didn't stick. Let me see what's coming off. And that's going to be my edge. So you can see where this is going to be closed. I'm going to put this on top and then I've got a couple other stickers and I will come back with the finished card. Oh, I'm also going to put a salutation of some sort inside. But that's basically that technique. I'm glad I was able to show you that close-up of the red. I mean, if that doesn't make you itching to try this stuff, uh, maybe the screen card will. And um, even that photo doesn't do it justice. It is just so shiny. 
And then I guess the other thing is, this is a quarter inch strip of the same base color cardstock, and I just wove that through the ends. And then find a coordinating bow. I have a couple stickers, but let's look at the inside first. So actually this was out of necessity because when I stamped on the back of my cardstock it was way crooked. So I ended up making this panel, which was nice because it brings in my ticketed corners into the scheme of things. Now the outside uh, rectangle is three and a quarter by one and three eighths. And then the inside is just a quarter inch smaller than that. So it's three and one and one eighth and stamped. Anyway, I will take some close-ups of this as well. And the other thing, all these little stickers and jewels or whatnot, they are dazzles from Hot Off the Press. And these are called Jewel Dazzles. There's about 540 and they come in multitudes of colors. And so you're welcome to get that. Again, this is a paperwishes.com is where I get them because they, you know, have sales where you get several. And they last forever. And um, that's about it. I don't think I'll be putting a card kit at my Etsy shop for this guy because all the fun is actually doing the embossing. I mean, the rest of it's really just a couple panels. So not a lot of interest there. Anyway, I hope you give it a shot. Like I said, I'm going to take another close-up of this green tree. And I guess just what I love about this encrusted jewels is it's very sparkly, but still very earthy looking. And you can see where it's got a lot of texture, especially when you start adding some of those uh, flakes. They're like mica chips. Anyway, thank you for watching, and have fun.